in this lecture I am going to be talking about two different types of instructions. The first is going to be an I type instruction and the other is going to be a J type instruction. So, for I types you may have various types of instructions, but for today we are only going to take a look at branching instructions and for J type we will look at jump instructions. So, with that out of the way, let us briefly talk about what we have learned about MIPS so far. So, MIPS is based on the risk instruction set, right? And as a result, it has fixed sized instructions. In other words, all its instructions are. 32 bits in length. Moreover, all its instructions are executed sequentially, which means one instruction is executed after the other serially, unless we have branching or jump instructions we'll take a, which we will take a look at today. So, in MIPS, we have our memory. So, let's call this memory. And we also have what is called a register file, right? So, let me label this. This is memory. So, in memory, you have addressable blocks like this right and each of these blocks are 32 bits in length I mean suppose imagine that each of these blocks holds an instruction or data and we all know that in MIPS our instructions are 32 bits in length and we also have a register file so our register file contains 32 general purpose registers, right? So, let's say this is 17, this is $18 and this is $19, okay? So, th this is what we already know. So, now let us today try converting a high level C programming language containing if condition. So, suppose if you have a C program like this, if A not equal B, add A, B and store the value in C. So, you already know in the case of MIPS, we have to do what? Store values in registers before we can perform any operation on them. So, let's assume that the value of A is already stored in $17 register, the value of B is already stored in $18 register and I am going to add these two registers and store their values in $19 register. So, let's just assume this for the time being. So, how would we write this instruction? Well, simply put, let's just trace this C program. So, suppose if I had a value of 7 here and a value of 8 here. So, let me first draw a table A, B and let's just call this add. Okay. So, So, I have created a table and let us say I have the value 7 here and 8 here. So, in my C program since 7 and 8 are not equal, my if block is going to be entered and therefore, I will store, I will add these two numbers. So, in other words, my addition operation will be performed. However, suppose in the case if my values were 7 and 7. Suppose if I had instead a 7 here, 
since 7 and 7 are equal my if block would not be entered and this add condition this add operation would not be performed right I would just exit my program here since there are no other lines of code present so I mean this is pretty straightforward we already know how a simple C program like this works so how do we translate this so let me bring this down Okay, so now for my MIPS, I mean for this if condition, what I'm going to need to do is try a branch instruction called PEQ, which stands for branch if equal. So it's going to see if the value of two registers are equal or not. If it is equal, it will take a specific branch and instead of executing instructions sequentially it will go to that specific branch so let me write it down and it will become clearer so and the syntax for BEQ goes something like this you have to write down the name uh, register numbers first so I'm comparing A and B which are in registers 17 and 18 so let me write this down so now just for common sense tell me if the value of 17 and 18 are equal should I execute should I execute this if block or should I not I mean the answer is obviously not I'll have to exit the program since I have no other lines of code here so let me just write exit here for ease of understanding so basically and then let me write the add instruction here so suppose exit is somewhere here and in that instruction let me add the contents of dollar 17 and dollar 18 and store it in dollar 19 okay so basically what happens is that suppose in memory i mean previously i mentioned that your programs get executed sequentially right so let me bring down memory here so suppose you have your memory here and here you have the BEQ instruction and here let's say you have the add instruction so your memory obviously has addresses let's call this 04 let's call this 08 let's call this 0 C I'm assuming that these are hexadecimal addresses okay so first of all how does your CPU know which of these instructions to execute well the answer to that is held by what is called a program counter so your program counter or PC in short basically points to the instruction that is being executed so what it's going to do is it's going to first when you're performing the BEQ operation your program counter is here and when it sees that in BEQ you have these values suppose you have the we had the values 7 and 8 right we had the values 7 and 8 since 7 and 8 okay so first of all let's just try this out with 7 and 7 so let's say we had the values 7 and 7 right and since the values of 7 and 7 were equal your branch was taken therefore your program counter instead of moving sequentially to the next instruction which is what MIPS follows it took the branch and it went to this branch address and since there are no other lines of code here your program basically stopped executing so now instead of 7 and 7 let's say I have 7 
and eight instead okay so now let's try to trace the program again so you are starting from BEQ so here 7 and 8 are obviously not equal therefore this branch will not be taken right instead this line of code will be executed so your program counter is going to just typically move to the next instruction and it's going to perform the add operation and that is exactly what was supposed to happen here right when you have two different numbers you were supposed to add when when you had two same numbers for a and b you were not supposed to perform the add operation so that is basically how branching works so now let's add a bit of a twist to this instruction so let's add an else statement here so let me paste this here and instead of having the exit here let's say my program now has an else block and in the else block you basically subtract a from b okay so now how would this program look well let me first of all copy the previous code here and paste this here so now let's see okay so now instead of writing exit here what happens when I have two and two equal numbers so by two equal numbers I mean when I have suppose 7 and 7 so when I have 7 and 7 looks like I'm using the wrong color anyway so if I have 7 and 7 here I will not perform this add operation instead I'll perform this subtract operation in other words my else block will be taken so for again better code readability let me instead of exit write else here okay so I've written else here so in the else block I can write basically the code for the else block which is subtract dollar seventeen dollar eighteen and store the result in dollar nineteen okay so let's trace this program when we have seven and seven so branch equal this is the instruction that we have used BEQ so it's going to compare the two registers and it's going to see that they have equal values and therefore it's going to take the else branch and in taking the else branch it's going to arrive here okay so basically your program counter will arrive here and let's call this and let me erase this and let me make this now the else branch which contains basically the sub instruction your program is going to move here and it is going to perform the sub instruction so everything has worked just as you'd expect it to but now what happens if you instead have let's say two unequal numbers so let's say instead you had 7 and 8 here so if you have 7 and 8 these are two unequal numbers which means you should now perform this add operation since 7 not equal 8 you should enter the if block and you should definitely not go to the else block and not perform this sub operation right so let's trace our program so you have 7 and 8 here so are 7 and 8 equal well the answer is no so this branch won't be taken right and therefore you'll perform the add operation here since your uh, MIPS program counter moves sequentially so you had the branch instruction here since no branch was taken your program counter just sequentially move to the next instruction and in the next instruction 
you perform the add operation as you were supposed to. But now look what happens since MIPS processes instructions sequentially it's going to move on to the next instruction which is the else block and it's going to perform the sub operation as well. So this instruction will also get executed but look what's happening here is that you're executing the code inside the if block as well as the else block. So this is obviously never supposed to happen right. So you somehow need to avoid this instruction from being executed. So how can you do that? Well let's say when your program I mean basically this is the end of your program right. So wouldn't it be nice if you could somehow let me bring this down a bit So wouldn't it be nice if after performing the add operation you could just arrive at an exit here. So in this way you could have skipped the sub instruction. So the way you could do this simply is by using a j instruction and writing just j exit. So what it's going to do is after performing the add operation your you now have an additional instruction here. So let me erase this and let me get rid of the memory addresses as well. So you have now an additional instruction here which is you had add here and now you have jump here. Okay, so now see what happens that your program counter performs the branch instruction. And it says that branch won't be taken since the two instruction since the two numbers are unequal. Therefore, it will perform the it will just move sequentially to the next instruction and perform the add instruction as it was supposed to. And then again, it will move to the next instruction sequentially, as is the nature with MIPS. And here in the jump instruction, you can see what happens is that it tells you to go to exit branch. So let's assume that this is the exit branch here. So now it's going to directly skip the else branch here and directly go to the exit branch. So your else block won't be executed and your program will work just as expected. So that was basically how you could write or translate an if else program in C to MIPS. Now what I want you to do is apply this same concept and write a similar program using BNE. So BNE stands for branch if not equal. So previously we learned about BEQ which stood for branch if equal right so in other words BEQ checked equal equal and BNE checks inequality so now I want you to use the concepts that you've learned so far and use BNE instruction to write this same code in MIPS instead of BEQ use BNE so that is basically your homework